everyone welcome to this new video so in this video i will be going to london with my sister i'm so excited um the last time i've been there was um a little bit less than a year ago um so i'm really excited because it's my favorite city in the world um i'm manifesting that i'm going to live there someday and i just i just love the city so i'm really excited to go there um it's pretty early it's like seven seven ish and um i'm going to the airport in a few minutes and i'll be taking you guys along with me on this really fun trip Hi guys, so we just arrived at the hotel. We're staying at the Zetwa Hotel at uh, Piccadilly Circus. Um, it's really nearby all the good streets and the shopping center. So um, it's a really nice hotel. And now we're going uh, to do some shopping at some stores. We're going to the Boots, we're going to the Space and K and some other stores. Um, and then I will take you guys along with me. at the hotel after doing some shopping and now we're going out to eat at the hard rock cafe um it's always really good there and when i'm back i will show you guys what i bought today um, because i bought some really fun things <laughs> So we're back from uh, getting dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe, which was really nice, um, as you could see. And um, now I thought I'd show you guys what I bought today. I bought a few things, but tomorrow is going to be like the big shopping day because we are going to the Westfield Mall um, and to the Sephora and to the Works, which is this big bookstore. I don't know. It's supposed to be really cheap uh, and they have a lot of books, so I'm really curious. Um, but the first thing I bought is this... Um, bronzer stick from the rare beauty um it's the in the color happy soul um i'm really curious whether it's good i've heard a lot of good things about it so um i really want to try this out for a really long time um so yeah i'm really happy with this i bought this at the space nk which is like i think the only store that they have a rare beauty at in um the uk so i bought it there and then uh at the space and i also bought this rose ink uh highlighter um i don't have a lot of uh, liquid or cream highlighters so um i saw this one and it's really beautiful it's in the color prismatic um i don't know if you can see it well but it looks really beautiful so i'm really uh excited to test that out and then I went to the Boots where I bought this bubble moisturizer. Um, I've seen this on TikTok a lot and it looks, everyone says it's like a dupe of the Drunk Elephant product. And um, I saw that they had it at the Boots um, and it looks really cute. So I wanted to try it out as well. Look at how cute this packaging is. Um, it has this like bump, I guess. Um, so I'm really excited to try that out. Next, I went to the Hollister and I haven't shopped there in a while, uh, but they had some really cute items. Um, so the first thing I bought is this t-shirt. Um, it has this, this like French Riviera thing on it. Um, this is the sizing, which needs to, I need to take this off. Um, but this is the shirt I bought. It's really cute um, for summer and for spring. So I'm really excited to wear that. Um, then I got this other shirt as well this one it is it has this like vintage car on it i know it looks really cute as well so i'm really excited to wear this um and then the last item i got um at the hollister is this um sweater it looks really cute i've been looking for a sweater like this for a really long time and this one looks really cute good and um i had a lot of hollister sweaters and products um a few years ago and i always really liked them um so i am really happy with this one and then what i also got today at the airport um before we flew to london is there is a bed and body works now and um i first got this hand soap for my mom um it's in the um sand champagne toast which she really likes it looks really cute 
um, and then they had this deal uh, of um, five hand sanitizers. I love their hand sanitizers. So I got a few of them. Um, I have the Japanese cherry blossom, two of the warm vanilla sugar, um, the into the night one and the strawberry pound cake. So the vanilla one is like, it smells amazing. Um, yeah, so that's everything I got. Um, my sister and I are going to watch Grey's Anatomy now and, uh, I'm really excited for tomorrow because like I said before, we're going uh, to the Sephora and we're also going to Nothing Hill, which I've been wanting to do over a really long time. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning when we go there. Good morning, everyone. So today is our second day in London and we'll be going to Nothing Hill and to the Westfield Mall where we'll be visiting the Sephora. Um, I'm really excited and I'm taking you guys along with me as we go. <laughs> Hi everyone, so we just got back uh, from shopping, so I thought I'd do a little shopping haul of what I bought. Um, so first we went to Nothing Hill, which was really fun, um, and I bought this um, tote bag from the Nothing Hill bookshop. It was a really cute bookshop, uh, very small and cozy. It was very busy though, um, but it was still fun. I also bought this book there. Um, it's this uh, Barnes and Nobles. Um, I don't know what it's called it's exactly. Um, it's the Bar Barnes and Nobles limited edition book. Um, I have a few uh, other books with like the same from the same collection. I also bought this little card from uh, the movie Nothing Hill uh, with the quote, the famous quote on it, uh, which is really fun. Uh, then we went to the travel bookshop, uh, which was a little bit. It wasn't that fun it was very busy um but it's nice to have seen it and we bought these magnets there um one from the famous door and one from the movie cover so next we went to the westfield mall which was really fun at uh, first i went to the sephora um i bought this hair mask uh from sephora itself um i think it might be good. Um, I have a hair oil from them as well, which I really like. So I hope this one is good. Then one of the brands that I was really anticipating is uh, Refai. Um, sadly, they had barely anything, uh, at least anything I wanted. But they did have this uh, primer, uh, which I really wanted to try. This was like my most anticipated product. So um, I'm really happy they did have this and I'm really excited to try this out. Next, I bought this Glossier Balm. Um, I see this on TikTok everywhere. It looks really cute, so I wanted to test it out. Next, I bought this mini of the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Toner. Um, I wanted to try this out for a really long time as well, so I thought I'd buy the mini one. And then if I like this, I can buy the full-size one. Then, uh, one of the other brands I was really anticipating, because we don't have this where I live, um, is the Makeup by Mario. Um, and I bought this... Um, this blush um it's kind of like this cream blush um it's this one and it's in a color perfect pink it's gorgeous um i'm really excited to try this out i don't really have a color like this yet and then i also bought a mini of the huda beauty um pink setting powder um yeah i don't know how this is going to look um everyone says it's really good so we'll see but i'm really excited to try this out as well and the last thing I bought at the Sephora is this House Labs uh, concealer. Um, I wanted either Kosas or House Labs or both, but uh, they didn't have Kosas in a color that was good for me, but they did, did have this one. So I'm really excited to try this one out because I see really good reviews um, and it looks very nice. So I'm really excited to try this. Next, I went to the works, which I mentioned this morning, um, but that was very disappointing because they didn't have any any books that I like, they barely had anything. They had a really small selection. And so I don't know where everyone goes that I see on TikTok, but um, this was very disappointing. I only bought one book, uh, which is this one from Anna Wang. Um, I've seen it on TikTok and I really like her other books. So I'm thinking I will like this. And six pounds for this is not 
expensive at all uh, but i'm really sad that they didn't have anything else so instead of buying an entire library there i uh, went to waterstones uh, where i did buy a few books the first one i bought is unravel me um i've seen this on tiktok i don't know whether it's good or not the cashier told me she really liked this one so i'm taking her word for it um but it looks really nice then i bought the long game by alina armas um, I have two of her other books, uh, The Spanish Love Deception and I think The American Roommate, something. Um, and I really like those two, so I'm thinking, I'm sure I will like this one as well. Then I have uh, the book Hopeless from Elsie Silver. I have the other four books as well, I've only read the first two. Um, but I saw this one and I was like, I'm just going to buy it because I love this book series already, even though I've just read the first two. Next, I bought this book, Set On You. Um, I've seen this a lot on TikTok as well and I've wanted to read it for a really long time, so that's why I bought it. Um, then I bought A Demon's Guide to Wooing a Witch. I have the first one, which is A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon. I really liked the one, so I saw this one and I thought I will probably like this as well. The last book I bought is A Betting on You by Lynn Painter. Um, I like her other two books uh, better than the movies and the do-over uh, as well. I like them a lot, so I thought I will probably like this as well. Um, so that's everything I bought today. It's all stuff that I'm probably going to like and I'm really excited to try out. We're now just going to clear up everything and then uh, we're eating at uh, mcdonald's and after that we're going to see wicked uh, the musical i've already been there once uh, a year ago and it was so amazing so we're going there again and uh yeah i'm really excited for that <laughs> Today is our third and final day in London. Um, we're just going to check out of the hotel now and then we're going to explore the city some more before going to the airport. Mm -hmm. 